Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we're doing something totally different and we're going to dye my hair. Um, I've chosen this metallic silver. I've got two boxes because obviously I've got quite long hair. Um, and it's a Swatchkoff Urban Metallics Live. It's a metallic silver which is U71. It is an intense colour. It is a permanent colour and it has built-in metallic shine booster. So um, I had done a poll on Instagram about um, doing my hair just a lavender colour, sort of lilac. I had a um, a head candy sort of semi-permanent thing just to bob in but I saw someone in town today and they had like lavender hair and it just looked really patchy and I just changed my mind and then um, I had been sort of umming and eyeing with the silver first of all and the only thing that was putting me off with silver is because I am 48 I'm worried that it's going to look grey and not sort of that nice bright colour that looks sort of silver Um, obviously if you're in your 20s it's going to look fab and I just want to see is it going to look nice when you're in your, you're in your late 40s? So I hope so. Um, so I have a bit of background about my hair. So I used to dye my hair myself at home as a teenager and into my very early 20s. And I used to use like the, um, the Clairol. Was it nice and easy? So I used to use that. Then I started getting my hair highlighted with the foils um, by a hairdresser. And I've been having that done all my adult life um, up until maybe about the last three months I'd say maybe about three months ago to four months maybe three to four months ago was the last time I had my hair coloured and um, I had to cancel an appointment and then my hairdresser had to cancel an appointment and then I thought Do you know what it was looking okay and I thought I'm gonna just let it grow out and it, to be fair it doesn't look too bad it's sort of blending in all right um, and the condition of my roots, it feels really nice not having any dye on there. But I just fancy something a little bit different. And it's because I've now had that break away from my hairdresser, I just sort of feel like I can have a bit of an experiment and a bit of a try. So this really appeals to me. Um, I've been using the Fudge Purple Shampoo, which has been lifting um, my blonde. And at times it can be quite sort of um, ashy. And I've really liked that colour on me. So yeah, I'm hoping that this will just give me that permanent type of colour and I'll be able to continue using either sort of silver and purple shampoos just to keep it nice and bright and then we'll see how I get on. So I picked this up from Superdrug. As I say I've got two boxes. Um it what well, in Superdrug I think you can get two boxes for nine pounds. Um save us sell it for four pounds fifty thereabouts which works out the same but in Superdrug they give the um NHS workers a 10% discount so I managed to get it a bit cheaper so it's really really um, affordable I haven't done a patch test that you are supposed to do a patch test 48 hours before applying the dye so I'd strongly recommend you do that I have had dye on my hair for like the last over 30 years so I'm just gonna chance it but please you know if you're doing this at home do follow the manufacturers instructions and um, so yeah let's go and get putting this on my head i'm going to take you through with me to the bathroom um i'll probably speed up most of the application process and then we'll see how it develops and how it dries oh god i hope it looks nice so i'm going to go pop some lenses in take my mascara off and then let's go get started Eek. <laughs> i'm back i meant to say that they have um like schwarzkopf have a really good website and it has all the instructions and everything on their website and all the different colors and things that they do and i just thought i'd just go over really really quickly what's in the kit and then um, what the advice is and things like that before i dye my hair so it just says in here you get a tube of the live color cream which is 60 mils you get um, an applicator bottle with a developing lotion in which is another 60 mils you get a sachet of care conditioner which is 22.5 mils and an instruction leaflet um, so yeah, I'm really hoping actually that they've got um, the gloves on the leaflet. They used to um, always get a pair of gloves um, in your pack. So let's see, so we've got here, there's the developer. This will be the colour I imagine. So yeah, there's the colour cream tube. And um, what else we've got? There is the conditioner. So obviously I'll have two packs of this. So I'll probably only open one, see how I get on. And if I need the other one, I'll do it. If not, I've got that for a few days. And um, what else? Yes, I've got my gloves. And most importantly, we have the instructions. Um, and let me just see quickly what it does. I just do know that you've got to have clean, dry hair to apply it on. 
um, blah, 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 blah. Um, don't use if you have um, color overload from several applications of color. Um, just read all the safety advice. It's really easy. It's basically put it on your hair and get on with it. Um, so preparation, um, clothing protection. So yeah, I am going to go get changed, put on some old jeans or a pair of leggings and an old t-shirt. Get my old towels out as well. And um, it's really exciting actually. It tells you how to mix it. First time application. Um, so it just says you should apply it, mix it evenly from the roots to the ends of your hair then spread the mixture in with your fingertips to ensure that all hair is evenly coated and I'll leave it on for 30 minutes. Um, if you're just doing a root regrowth application, which I aren't, it's going to be the full lot, um, then you just sort of leave on 20 to 30 minutes and just go over the darker portions and then I think normally you then mix it through the rest of it after a certain period of time. But we're going to go for a full head. Um, after half an hour, you just rinse it. Um, then you can bob on the conditioner, leave the conditioner for a couple of minutes and then um, rinse it out. And I do remember from when I used to dye me on hair, the conditioner is amazing. Your hair used to feel so silky. So yeah, that's enough of that. I'm going to go get changed, get sorted. Let's go do it. See you in a minute. Okay, so here I am. I've got my um, old t-shirt on. I've got an old towel to hand. Um, I have got, so I've got to get the developer and the cream colour, mix them together. So the way we do that is lid off for this. And then we have got this, I'm making sure it is the right shade and it is U71. And then the lid comes off this, you pierce the end. And then it's a case of just putting the colour into the bottle and then mixing it thoroughly. So I'm just going to do that. I'm very nervous. I can't wait. I'm really excited. So this is it here. It's just going in as you can see. Um, so I'm just going to put this down just so I get it all in. So yeah, I'm just going to start off with one bottle and see how far I get. And then if I need some more, I can open my second pack. And then, um, yeah, we'll be sorted. So, that is all the colour out the tube. And so, I'm just going to shake it together so it's really well mixed. And then we can start the application. I'll pop the gloves on. Right, so I think that's really well mixed now. It seems to be. So, on here, there's a little screw cap which you can take off and then it is ready to apply you can use the nozzle to part your hair um, i've given my hair a brush through already so all i'm going to do now is pop my gloves on and um yeah i'll just speed this bit up of the application and then um, we'll see you at the end <laughs> once it's all on i've taken my rings off as well just in case um i don't want it to damage any of my jewelry oh, i wish i brought some gloves from it look at these they're huge so yeah Maybe get some um, vinyl gloves, might be a bit easier. But I have my gloves on, so I'm going to start um, around my crown. And um, it does say just to do it all in, like in sections, but I think I'm going to definitely do the top of my head and then work my way up in sections. It's how I used to do it before, so it's just what I'm going to do now. And we'll see how it turns out. Here it goes. I'm just going to, I don't have a brush or a pot, I know you can sort of buy them, but I'm just going to apply it like this. It's too late to turn back now. That's it on.
I think that's it. Who knows, but um, fingers crossed. If not, it'll be more day tomorrow. <laughs> Hiya, colours on. So um, half an hour, then I'll be cooked. So see you soon. Right then, so this has been on for half an hour. So it's time to go wash off. So rather than me taking into the bathroom to do this bit, I'm just gonna go rinse it off. Um, it says to wear your gloves when you rinse off. And then I have the conditioner, which I put on for two minutes and then I will be back. Um, it's feeling a bit dry around the edges. Um, I thought it'd be brighter. So I really hope that the um, roots and things are nice and bright. But as long as it's even, I am worried that it's gonna be a bit patchy. Um, I definitely needed the two bottles, um, as you saw in the video, and I literally used every last drop. Um, I'm not sure if I should have done it through all the hair as I went, but I was worried that that way um, it may be different sort of brightnesses, at least all my ends were done together. So wish me luck, I'm a bit worried, but I'm excited as well. So um, see you in five minutes. Right, so I've rinsed it out and um, I've only seen what it looked like upside down, hanging over the edge of the bath. I am not, it looked really dark, but I know it was wet. So I'm hoping it's gonna dry lighter. Um, I've just a quick peek here at my root roots that look that bright. So again, I'm hoping this is gonna be brighter. Um, yeah, because my natural hair is not really particularly dark, but we will see what it's like. I just hope it's not patchy. I am going to put a bit of foundation and mascara on just to give myself a fighting chance of liking it once it's done. So I'm going to quickly do that and then I'll take the towel off and we'll have a quick look. All right. Okay, here goes. So <laughs> I've got a slight bit of makeup on only because I'm really worried. I need my mirror here as well because I can't trust the viewfinder and I'm so anxious. <gasps> oh, <laughs> oh, this is not even, is it? This is not even. Let me just brush it through. Um, the um, the conditioner wasn't as creamy as I thought, but actually my hair feels really nice now. I'm brushing it through. Um, it rinsed out really easily. It is actually pretty bright, but it doesn't look even through my hair. I won't lie, but that might not be a bad thing. Um, it feels okay. Um, and there wasn't loads of hair that came out. I was worried as well in case I might damage my hair, but not much is coming out, no more than usual. Um, it's brushing through really, really easily because I've put no detangler on it or anything. So that's it brushed through. Um, so I'm going to dry it and let's see how we get on. Right, I'm just going to pop a bit of this um, Philip Kinsley um, PK Prep Perfecting Spray. This is only 4 .99 in um, savers. So I'll just pop a bit of that through before I dry it. Um, my roots are definitely not as light as the ends, but um, we'll see how even or uneven they are. Let me just brush that through. Right, I'm gonna fast forward you. Um, so it's nice and quick and we'll chat once it's dry. All right, guys.
Right, so here we go. It is definitely lots of different colours. Um, the roots, I don't think, to be honest, have actually really changed at all, which is really weird. Um, and there's definitely sort of different shades through my hair, which to be honest, I don't mind too much, but like it's sort of picked up. You can see there the differences in the my own colour and the roots just look the same. Um, and I don't know if these other bits are bits that were from my highlights and that's why they're different. And it actually seems more lavender than the metallic silver on the packet, but I think that might even light, wash a bit lighter. I can probably rectify that with turning shampoo. Um, I just don't think I'm loving it at all. I'm a bit, I don't know, I feel I look grey. It's not what I was hoping for, so I think I might have to, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to give it a couple of days. I'm going to see how I feel about it tomorrow. But I might just have to dye it back blonde. Oh, it's one of those. I'm not sure if I'm... I can't work it out because I just need to have a little look at it properly. But it is really quite streaky. But that, if this bit lightens, because there's like some quite... This bit here is really, really lavender, which is weird. Um, I'm so glad I didn't put it in all of this bit on the ends first because it's taken really well on the ends. Um, we'll see. I mean, it feels nice and I quite like the fringe when it first started coming in, but I'm not sure how I just feel about it all. It might look better um, curled and then you can sort of the different sort of colours through it will probably look nice. And to be honest, I'm probably glad it's not a block colour. Um, I think it's looking a little bit more obvious on camera than what it is in real life. Um, I don't know, we'll see. I'll come back to you in a couple of minutes and have a little think. I'm gonna go have my dinner because I'm starving, so I'll see you in five. Right, I am not having my dinner, Glenn's cutting the grass. So I've had a quick look at it in natural light and um, yeah, I'm still undecided and I think it might just take a couple of days for me to get used to it. Um, and I'm thinking maybe because it is a little bit sort of um, different shades in it, it will make it feel like it's not, like I'm not gray, although it's, bit lilac -y, but do you know what I mean it's like you can tell that I'm actually blonde Um, I think it might be nice curled and I was looking as well and I went to just put it in a ponytail and I think it's gonna look really nice in a ponytail um, and I quite like it like that actually Um, so I think it's just gonna be it's different for me and when you think about the same hair for about 20 years it's gonna take a bit of getting used to so um, it was very easy to use I think if I hadn't have had the bleached bits, I don't think I'd have had as much um, vibrancy. So um, have you tried it? If you have, let me know what you think and what sort of results have you had? And like, would you recommend a different colour for me in future? Um, yeah, so I hope you've enjoyed this use. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, thanks for watching and um, take care. See you all very soon. I'm going to Scotland in a couple of days. So it's going to be Scotland vlog coming up. Take care, guys. Bye for now. <laughs> Right guys, I've just come to some natural light because it's a bit lighter and um, I have washed it again. Um, I'm not sure, still not sure, but we will see. And this is how it has turned out. I'm going to use some turning shampoos, I think, and see if I can lift it a little bit. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch up with you all again very, very soon. Bye guys. Bye.